G'day guys, it's Sam Danes from Ardento. Thanks for tuning in. So 2023 is going to be a huge year for Zoho CRM. And today I want to bring you four new features which are just around the corner in Zoho CRM. They've been added in demo and partner accounts, which is what I'm going to show you now. So they might not yet be in your CRM, but they're just around the corner being released in a phased approach. Really exciting stuff. We'll get stuck into it and I'll show you the four great new features being added to Zoho CRM in 2023. Okay guys, so the first feature I wanna show you today is the record lock. Now this has been a pretty requested feature. All of these are gonna be in the customization area of your Zoho CRM, which is where I'm on screen right now. I'm gonna to go to customize modules and fields. Um, I'm going to choose the leads module. This is my live CRM, so um, we can see why it's uh, it's got these features enabled. Um, across the top, before you go to layouts, um, there's going to be a new fee area there called record locking configuration. This record locking feature, it's much requested, and if you have been wondering what it's about, or maybe you've been looking for this feature, it's going to give you the ability to lock records, essentially make records read only either when they reach a certain part in your process, perhaps a field is updated or a certain set of criteria locks the record from editing, or um, you can manually make the record lockable. So if you need to toggle a record on to be locked, uh, so no other team members or yourself can edit it, then that's what this feature is for. You can do it across different modules. Um, once you see the record locking configuration option there, you can click configure now. Um, and this is really what you've got available to you. Um, you've got the ability to toggle on manual locking, which gives users the permissions to um, set their profile to lock records manually. So they can actually go to the record and say, now I wish this lock record to be locked. So that's on by default. You can turn that off if you want to. Um, the other one, which is probably more than likely what most people will be looking for is the ability to automatic lock. So we're gonna call this a lock rule. Um, we essentially, build a set of criteria. So I can going to say here where um, the industry is legal, for example, on my, um, on my leads module, um, I can choose to have this lock existing records that satisfy the criteria. Be aware that once you turn that on, it's gonna go through and lock all those records. Um, or you just choose the criteria. So going forward, any records that meet certain criteria, the record will be locked. The next set of settings you've got available here to you um, relate to the ability to specify the certain profile or all profiles. So this is referring to security profiles, selecting the relevant profile and whether it's gonna be excluding them. So here we've got all profiles except for. So often you're probably gonna to wanna to do something like that. Lock it except for the admins. So the admins can still edit the record if need be. Um, Otherwise, you can choose to lock it for all profiles. What can they do? Um, I love this, actually. You can drill down into a lot more features as to what is actually being locked, whether the record can be edited. Um, obviously, that's probably the most common option, but you've got the ability to delete, the ability to update tags, maybe convert if you're talking about a lead record, change the owner, even configure custom buttons and communication actions. So you can get a little bit specific about how you want to deal with your record locking. And you can even specify specific fields that are allowed to be modified. So perhaps in this example, I'm going to say, well, I want the account name to be editable at all times. Really awesome feature. Zoho put a lot of thought into this than beyond just locking a record. You have got certain control over it fields, profiles that can unlock or edit the record. Um, a great feature that's not too far away. Obviously, once you've designed your record locking config, you save it to make it active. So now moving on to the next uh, feature that you're gonna be excited about. We're gonna get, again go into customize uh, modules and fields. And I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna say, um, we're gonna choose the contacts module. Actually, let's choose the deals module. Go into my standard layout. So we're configuring the, the screen here. We've got my fields on my deals module that we would wanna be using. Now, there is a, 
the ability, you would be aware of your lookup field. So here I've got a contact name lookup field on my deal module. The lookup field allows you to look up records from another module and relate them to the, the record that you're on. Here, I'm gonna click the three dots more button. Now a new option is available for lookup fields. It's called add field of lookup module. So what does this feature enable you to do? What it can do is, is going to allow you to bring data in from that related module onto the module that you're customizing. So there might be some data that is on the contact module that when I create my deal and link it to a contact, I want some of the, that data to be copied or made visible on the deal record. You would usually do this via workflow and functions. Uh, so, you know, you may have some of this stuff set up in your system already, but now with this new feature, completely codeless. What fields do we wish to add? We're just gonna grab the uh, email field from the contact and it can add it as a new field here and just say contact email. You can map to existing fields. So if you've already created the field here, you just want to copy it across. Maybe you've got a workflow that's already doing it. Otherwise, it's going to create a new field. I'm going to save that and hit save. It's immediately added the new field. Now, when we create a deal record and link it to the contact, the contact's email address is automatically going to be added to the deal record. How cool is that? The third the third update that is coming to your Zoho CRM that you wanna be aware of is, and we're gonna stay on the customization screen now, is called the Rollup Summary field. You'll see a new field type called Rollup Summary. Um, actual fact, I'm gonna go, we're gonna get rid of um, the, the deals module. I'm gonna go over to my accounts module and customize that. Now, I'm gonna drag on the roll up summary field. And I hear you ask, what is this roll up summary? In my system, I have an accounts module representing businesses and I have another module called invoices, which just represents the invoices uh, that my customers have. Perhaps I want a field visible on the account module, which shows me the total value of all invoices for that account. Again, you could probably do this via workflow functions. And if you've wanted this in the past, you probably may have already done this. But now when you drag on the roll up lookup field, we can see on the left here, we've got the list of the related modules that I have that relate to the accounts module. We can see that invoices is an option there. And Zoho gives you a bunch of predefined aggregations that you can do. So for instance, one of them is total invoice amount. And then I hit that and hit save. It's added a field on my screen, which is the total invoice amount field. It's simply then, whenever I view an account record, it's automatically going to sum up the total invoice value for all invoices related to that account. No scripting required, no workflow required. Very cool feature, love that a lot. And finally guys, the fourth uh, option or feature that is being added to Zoho CRM just around the corner. Again, I'm gonna go back to the deals module here and go to back to my standard layout. Any lookup field, that you already have added to your system, to your modules. Everybody's requested this feature for as long as I've even been working with Zoho. Filtered lookups is now here. Find your lookup field. Edit the properties of the lookup field and a new checkbox is available. Filter lookup records. I tick that option and I can build criteria for what is gonna be returned for my users when they use that lookup field. What a game changer. For instance, I only want contacts that belong to the IT department to be shown when I am 
looking up contacts on my deal record. A really great feature that you haven't been able to deal with through workflow or customization easily enough. This is a much requested feature that Zoho have added. So guys, that's all four amazing new features that are coming to Zoho CRM really soon. They're in, they're being rolled out right now. If you go and check, you may find them in your system. They will be phased out and they should be available to you soon. If you've got any questions, please reach out to the team at Ardento and we'd love to help. Thanks for tuning in.